president has me on roadkill duty. You know, being the mayor of Harness Land, I barely encounter any kinds of roadkill. Oh, holy Hambletonian. Here in Thoroughbredville, oh, there's just loads of it. I apologize for using his name in vain. Oh, meanwhile, this steam has me as my own personal swimming pool. <laughs> it has an air that suffocates. I'm telling you, I'm racking up heat strokes here. And I'm already four over par. Uh-oh. Triple bogey. I haven't had any time to take care of myself or my mayoral duties. Like, did you know I have a kid? I didn't. And honestly, thank God I don't. Because I've been so busy that that thing would have probably starved by now. Every single day, the president's asking me things like, grab me my laundry, grab me my mail, get me a treat. I've been a good boy. The mayor's been a great boy. And he never gets a treat. <coughs> I'm running out of time to get the town together for the big event. The Hamiltonian. Oh. I understand that many of you might be unfamiliar with the Hamiltonian. And that's okay. It's only a million dollar race. Yeah. As million with an M. Okay? Now flip that M around. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> What's a million anymore? Because, like, Apple is a three trillion dollar company. And maybe this is just me. But I find more value in the poetry of a horse's motion than I do in Apple Factory. That's best feature is the surrounding protective netting. And yet, the market says otherwise. So, who am I to judge? The money only means so much, because the Hamiltonian is a near 100-year-old race that was first held in 1926 just a few years before everybody got really sad. The, the race is named for Hambletonian, uh, who is considered the founding father of the standard bred breed. So this race is like the Super Bowl uh, in the way that George Washington founded America. Mm, no. George Washington didn't really find America. So I guess it's more like the Super Bowl, but for Christopher Columbus. No, he didn't, he didn't find America either. Uh, so it's like Adam and Eve then? Oh wait, the, the, the Bible story. But did, did that really happen? Hey you. Over here. Hey, can I help you? You go by Dino Tony? I was born Dionysus Anthony, but Dino Tony is simpler. I just keep getting put into these binds, Dino Tony. It's like, last year, I almost ruined the breeder's crown. And now this year, I'm getting squeezed to the point that I'm not gonna have anything together for the Hambletonian. The Waddletonian? The Hambletonian. The Wimbledon? Hambletonian. Hamboning? 
It's a harness race with eliminations on July 29th and a final on August 5th. But I mean, at this rate, I'm not going to have any horses to put into the race. Oh, no thanks. Oh. You know, it's funny, Dino Tony. Uh, I thought you were going to be like a pervert from a Stephen King book, but <laughs> it, it, it just feels really good to get all of this off my chest. Dino Tony finds it hard to believe there are no horses for your race. Dino Tony recalls seeing at least five horses today because at least five times today, Dino Tony thought, mmm, yummy. Dino Tony? Dino Tony is a dinosaur. Dinosaurs eat horses. Finding the right horses is hard, Dino Tony. Tell me about it. No one stands out from one another. It's like a farmer staring out at their crop. Every plant looks the same. The girls are better than the boys, Dino Tony. Again! And they only almost won the Hambletonian last year. Dino Tony may be a dinosaur, but that's messed up if girls being better than guys is an issue. It's not. Girls have done well in and have won the Hambletonian. But this year, one got a bone infection and the other just lost, so it might be all dudes. Oh well. Really sounds like you have a problem with girls doing better than guys. No, no, oh well, he, he's a horse and he's probably on the best track right now. He just switched bridles and he looked like a completely different animal. But still a horse. Uh, he looks all right. He does too. Um, Ox Fenstead's up your Deo and Kierkegaard K as well. Dino Tony must admit you're losing him with these horse names. You also sound like you know exactly who should go for your big race. The answer's been with you all along. Really? You think? In my heart? No. Brain. Maybe you're right, Dino Tony, but I, I still need all the time to put the logistics together and everything. But the president- Forget him. He doesn't hold anything over you. You can walk away any time you want. Well. Dino Tony is telling you that you have a choice and you know what you need to do. Take it from Dino Tony. When a meteor is hurling at you and will destroy everything and everyone you love, what else is there to do? You know, Dino Tony, you're right. But holy hell, man, that's a little loaded. Talk to me when you go extinct. I will, Dino Tony. I will. This Hambletonian features a handful of horses trying to peak at the right time. Uh, in fact, uh, here's a whole list of them and all the races they've won. We've contested countless preps for this race in Harness Land, uh, despite my priorities being in all different directions. But you know what? The 98th edition of the Hambletonian appears in competitive hands. Or <laughs> moves, I guess. If it doesn't turn to be as competitive as it could be, eh. oh well. Come on. Come on. Aha! <laughs> Ha! <laughs>
do as you will, Mr. Mayor. And I will do as I am myself. 